Hello YouTube, this is Dark Vigilante, and I'm going to be making another video just to make something clear. Apparently it wasn't clear that to make multiple characters or bots work at the exact same time, you're going to follow most of the steps that I have in my leader and follower video, but this will be specifically if you don't want to use a leader and follower, if you want to use two separate bots that are in two separate games, or if you want to use two bots that are in the same game to, say, transfer items over so that you don't lose them. So the first step to do this is we're going to go into the keys section. You're going to kick the key, the click the keys button there, and we're going to add a key just like we did before. You can name this whatever you like, and then we're going to give it a name. Again, if you're using MPQ files, then go ahead and put in the MPQ's name. If you are using keys that are manually going to be added, you're going to go ahead and manually add those into the class and expansion sections, and feel free to name those whatever. And lastly, if you're going to use the key that is already installed with Diablo 2, you're going to go ahead and just leave this blank. You don't even need to mess with this at all. So once you have that done, you can go ahead and hit apply and then uh, hit OK. And then we're going to make a new profile. I already have a new profile, but if you haven't created a new profile yet, we're going to click on the Add button. And that's going to bring up something similar to this. It won't say Edit, but it'll be the same thing. You're going to add whatever the profile name you want it to be, the account, password, character, all of the stuff I've gone over before, so I'm going to skip past it. The only difference here that you're going to do is instead of having your key as the same key that you were using with the other bot, we need to use the new key. And yes, you have to have new and separate CD key sets, full CD key sets, working CD key sets on Diablo 2 Battle.net if you want to log in online. And then you need to select it from this list here. So for example, we made that test one key. We're going to select it from there. And one last thing before we hit apply and OK is we want to go ahead and look at our Diablo path. Now our Diablo path is not going to change. For some reason, this is something confusing to people. Your Diablo path for all of your profiles when using Colbot is going to be exactly the same. So you just want to go into Diablo 2, wherever you originally used this, and click on game.exe, and we're going to leave it exactly the same. Do not install another copy of Diablo 2. Do not use a different game.exe in another Diablo 2 folder. I hope that's clear because I know a lot of people had some confusion there. Now we're going to hit apply. We're going to hit OK. And you're going to use whatever entry point you want to use. I'm just using map here. And then you're going to go ahead and hit start. So when you hit start, you're going to be able to see. Hold on a second. Let me find out where we're at here. OK, so here is my first CD key. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit start on your second one. And then you're going to log in, and you can do everything as normal. If it worked, it's going to let you log in, and it's going to allow you to have multiple Diablo 2 windows open, just like I do right here. So basically, if you did this correctly, you should be able to open multiple Diablo 2 windows. If you did this correctly and you've separated out your CD key sets, you should be able to log into Battle.net and be able to use either two bots at once or two map characters to do your transfers or whatever it is that you're looking for to do. All right, guys, I hope that helped. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video.